Hello everyone and welcome back to Dr. Mommy B. I hope you guys have watched my previous Kashmir vlog. So today we are in Pahalgam. We have completed the beautiful Gulmarg. Everywhere in Kashmir is so beautiful and the choice is ours to enjoy wherever we like in whatever way we like. Still the main attractions are Gulmarg, Sonmarg, Pahalgam and Gurais. Gurais is a completely different area and we have to travel a lot. So I will be also showing in my coming videos a journey to Gurais which is just mesmerizing. We started our journey from Gulmarg to Pahalgam. Pahalgam is famous with its annual pilgrimage to the Sri Amardana temple. It happens in every August and we were in Kashmir in August. So the entire area was protected by military forces. When you ask me the question, which place did I like the most? Gulmarg or Pahalgam? I would say uh, Gulmarg. But for 80% of the people, it is always Pahalgam. And my answer changed when I reached Pahalgam, when I saw the Aru Valley. So stay tuned to this video. I will be showing all around Pahalgam. We reached Pahalgam in the morning and we checked into our homestay. And then we went to this mini Sisterland. It's a very famous place in Pahalgam, but... The sad part is that we have to hire horses again and climb all the dangerous mountain to reach this mini Switzerland area. And sad fact is that it's not so beautiful as it is because people have done lot of waste and it was so crowded and it just had few activities same like how we have in Manali or Uti. So I was little disappointed with the mini Uti or Besran Valley. If you are walking around the valley, you could spend half the day, but uh, just to enjoy the scenery beauty and taking photographs only. So we returned to the uh, homestay by afternoon and had our lunch. We just stepped out of our hotel and then find a beautiful place just nearby and it was so beautiful and it just had a floor mill and it was operated by uh, the water but it was not working nowadays since this place was so beautiful we decided to have a local tour and enjoy the evening People like different things and attracted to different things. Some of them like the beauty of night. Some of them like the beauty of mountains. Some of them like the beauty of snow. And some of them like ocean, seas and river and the sound of water. And I'm one of them who like the sound of water, rivers, beaches. The sound of water brings some kind of calmness to my mind. I think that's the reason why many of them reach into the beaches. I feel the sound of water is so soothing both to our heart and mind. Throughout Kashmir we can see the trees of walnut and I just found few of them in the nearby yard. Just wanted to explore the fresh walnut. The shell was still hard even though it was not right. I just crushed them with a stone and found the nut inside and it was tasting same like raw, um, what we can say, raw cashew. Throughout the lane we can see homestays and cottages on both sides of the street and all houses had this walnut trees and some of the houses had very unique architecture. 
There was little small townships between these lanes and people had grocery stores, a floor mills and there were many locals had a great time talking to them and just brought few essentials. We decided to have an early dinner and since the place which we are staying doesn't had much great hotels and then again we have to book a cab for it. Uh, so we decided to cook from our home brought stuffs and we had this delicious dal makhani and this was heaven i have tasted many dal makhanis after coming to kashmir and none of them tasted very nice and this was finger licking good so i ordered all this ready to cook items from amazon india and it was worth it the next day morning we started early to explore more in pahalgam and we are going to betam valley and also aru valley Before I was talking to you about my favorite place in Kashmir yes I changed my answer it is not Gulmor anymore it is this place Aru Valley the untouched portion of Pahalgam I could say no i am not correct because the camps and the reason we there are many camps happening and there are lot of plastic waste which gives tears in our eyes i don't know when we will change but still this was the most beautiful place with with its scenic beauty and it had snow mildly snow capped mountains and lovely river flowing uh, nearby and i could say this is a little piece of heaven at the same time i'm not disappointing those people who like gulmarg because every place is have its own beauty isn't it we enjoyed half day in aro valley still we it was not enough for us it was so beautiful and on our way back they were having some road works so the the car was uh, parked aside I have collected some beautiful flowers from Aru Valley and I just wanted to create a beautiful picture out of it and I was trying to do that. Now we are at the very famous Betab Valley. Just see if it is worth the hype. We were a little bit hungry so we just had few snacks and this is a very famous snack here called Matri and we just had few samosas. Again here also horse riding is available and we can cross this small river and the water is crystal clear and having a slight greenish shade I just spent lot of time with the water but it was super cold maybe I can say more than ice water everywhere in these valleys you can have photographs in traditional kashmiri dress so i also had one from here with two days of horse riding we were really fed up with that and we just wanted to avoid it and explore the mountain ourselves So today we will not be staying in Pahalgam, we are going back to Srinagar because tomorrow early we have to start the journey to Kuris. On the way back we just uh, get in, into the uh, apple farm and this is not the season of apples, still there are few of them 
and he was uh, selling uh, just juicy apples and all kind of apple products we got a uh, few of the apple jams which was tasting really different due to its uh, uh, like uh, chat masala flavor it was nice and here he was preparing ready juice of uh, gray, uh, fresh apples we decided to have lunch on the way back to Srinagar as the food in Pahalgam and almost all this Pahadi area is mainly Maggi or some kind of uh, roti and dal that's it so we got a nice restaurant and it it had very nice and tasty vegetarian khana and we loved it we always ask in restaurants for Kashmiri food so basically Kashmiri food is just Kashmiri wazwan and few pulavs so we just uh, had lassi and tea and then end up our journey in Srinagar and next day we'll be going to Gurais hope you all enjoyed my vlog see you in the next video till then like share and subscribe